he started out at like 650000 dollars This is definitely what you need in Vietnam, let me tell you. Now we are going to maybe try snails. You all need to come here for this, that's all I have to say. He's staring at me, I'm staring at him, it's exciting. Good morning, people. If you knew how much deodorant I put on every single place in my body just to not get heat rash and be itchy all the time, you would be in shock. Like, it's basically, I might as well just cover my whole body in deodorant. Like, every single nook and cranny that you can think that sweats, that's where I put deodorant. It's hot. It's like 100 degrees here. Oh, 38 Celsius every day right now. And so we try to get out early, but today we're not as early as we probably should be, but whatever. You like our little setup? Be happy. It's a constant reminder. Don't complain. Then you have your trees over here. And then if you look over here, there's a little deer. It's absolutely great. I wouldn't necessarily just decorate my house in that, but I guess they're like little cheap stickers that actually decorate the room, so it's kind of nice. Oh, forget, we have a 3D sticker over here, guys. See that, baby? Yeah. 3D. 3D. Which we think is absolutely gross because <laughs> things like dust and everything gets behind that. You can't clean that. Today, we are going to the Russian market because apparently they have a really big Russian tourist population here. Vietnam in general makes a lot of clothes and has a lot of clothing from very popular brands. I don't know if they're real or fake. Since we are going back into like North American Europe territory, I have a really nice Patagonia jacket that I can layer stuff under, but Yen doesn't have anything like that. So we're going to try to get her like a jacket that compacts for travel. And then also she can get travel pants and shirts that are like dry fit shirts. We asked the Benton market the other day, but we were just kind of get pricing. And so we didn't really negotiate down to see what we could actually get it for. She started out at like 650,000 dong, which is absolutely, I don't even know. I'll put it on the screen how much that is. Too, way too much for a pair of pants. And I think they were branded North Face, but still like, yeah, we know we could probably get half that price, easy. Also, we're going to go to the Netflix Miss Truick seafood snail shop thing. I was trying to get an idea of like the Vietnamese name for different foods and what food they have here because food is so cheap here. Guys, it's like a dollar, one US dollar for a dish. Like I think easily Yin and I could spend $3, 350 a person every day to eat here. Anyway, so we were watching these Netflix things and Miss Truick is right around the corner from us. So we're going to try to do that today as well. And then there's this fried chicken that Yen wants to go see. It like rains oil on the chicken. Instead of like the chicken sitting in oil, it rains the oil down and cooks it. Yummy. We haven't had fried chicken in forever. Wait, have we? No. Yen says no. Let's go out and about in the world today. Out and about in Ho Chi Minh today. Yeah. Let's go. This is definitely what you need in Vietnam, let me tell you. All the American girlies should be jealous. Look, these new Nike leggings thing. Of course, there's a motorcycle comes right whenever we're starting to film, but that's very normal here. He's staring at me, I'm staring at him. It's exciting. Anyway, so we got done with the Russian market and we may not be done with it, but we wanted to see pricing before we bought anything extra because we're thinking about buying a actual coat for yen um probably a north face branded one for like 24 us dollars which is absolutely insane but i got this adidas shirt and a pair of black nike shorts 
they were about four US dollars a piece and they're like really nice. Who knows if they're actually Adidas or Nike, but they actually look branded, which is insanely crazy. And one lady asked me not to film in there anymore, maybe because of the branding situation. I don't know. So I did stop filming, but then we got busy shopping. So it was like, okay, we actually were trying to do stuff today. Now we are going to maybe try snails. So let's go do that. Well, people, we made it to her shop, but she's not even here. She's closed. So now we have to actually figure out what her real hours are to see if we can actually go try her food. Maybe we'll try something else today. Let's go see. Aren't these alleyways cool, by the way? Texas is everywhere. Yum. Look, they have these baby sandwiches. It's just like almost a two-biter. I guess a perfect little snack. Um, can anybody tell me what religion has a cross, a swastika, and an eye thing? Huh, that is the most interesting thing. than the snails. Snails are adventurous. This is just fried chicken, so who doesn't want that? They have rice and I don't know what flavor it is, so let's try that first. Ooh, it's kind of sticky. They have more broken rice here and it's so delicious. It's like, you know those Japanese restaurants where they do the rice right in front of you? That is what this is like. It's absolutely delicious. Wow. It's like that sticky rice that has the like, what's that flavor called? And it's Malaysian. When you put the fried rice in the wok. Wok hay. Wok hay, or whatever it's called. Breath of the wok. Breath of the wok. That's what it's like. Oh, mm. wow. Oh, it's crispy. Hold on. We're gonna do a little something something. Y'all hear that? Let's try her out. I haven't had chicken in a while. I don't think. Have I? I probably had chicken the other day, let's be honest. I don't know. The skin. Oh my gosh. Mm. Okay. I'm going to try this sauce without anything. That is the best thing I've ever tasted. Oh. It's like soy sauce and ginger, but it's thick and maybe probably garlic. Oh, it's so good, guys. Oh, wow. Y'all need to come here for this. That's all I have to say. Yeah, do that. Wow, worth the walk, worth the hot weather. And there's air conditioning in here, so. Now we're just gonna enjoy our fried chicken. And it'll cost us less than two bucks. Oh yeah, and it costs us less than two US dollars. What the heck? Guys, this sauce may be the best sauce I've ever tasted in my entire life. I don't know what's in it. Maybe a little bit of something that we shouldn't be eating. I don't know. But they gave it to us takeaway. I am so happy. My life has been made. Like whenever I got here, I did not know this existed in Ho Chi Minh. If you look at each of the little alleyways and each of the doorways that go across the alleys, those are where people actually live. Like that is their living room. So like one lady just now 
was holding a baby and they were watching a kid's cartoon. There was two kids on the floor and they were singing along and it was just like in their living room right there whenever you walk by because all their doors are open and everything because most people probably don't have air conditioning here. It's just the neatest thing. And then you almost get ran over by motorcycles all the time. It's just like one motorcycle after another. But thankfully for our tour, we didn't have too many motorcycles because the alleyways are so tight. And if I'm filming, they'll just like come out from behind me and then I'm in their way. And of course they're looking out for pedestrians because they're used to that. But the alleyways here guys are incredibly, insanely cool. That they do that every day and have to deal with these tiny little, and ours is around a medium sized alleyway but there's smaller ones and there's larger ones. So it just depends on what buildings are around and how they like built up. Also their electrical wires guys, I'll try to get better ones for you because the ones I showed you were kind of thin. They just are like sometimes in the corner piled in. It is absolutely crazy. y'all like to try a frutas? So I only know the word for fruit in Spanish and in English and I'm not even sure if my English or my Spanish pronunciation is even correct but we have an interesting fruit. This is a jambu. That's what they call them in Malay and in Indonesian. In Vietnamese, I looked it up, I don't know how to pronounce it but maybe kwa roi or kwa mon. <laughs> that sounds Jamaican but okay. Anyways, so they call this in English, there's like a gazillion names for it. A water apple, a wax apple, a rose apple, a black plum. There's actually a little hole in the bottom. And then it's like a bell shape. This one has some blemishes on it, but we don't hold that against it. We all have some blemishes inside or on the outside. The inside looks like this. And there's the little hole at the bottom. Normally it doesn't have that little thing in it. And so we just cut that little hole out of it at the bottom because that touches the air. I don't know if a flower comes out of the bottom of that. If anybody knows, let me know down below in the comments. And we discovered that if the outside is more like this and not as white, it's sweeter. So we like those ones better. And then right here, you see that there's like a seed. So we, I just take that out. It's kind of a mesh seed type situation. And then it's very crisp, a very light flavor. The flavor is kind of florally and fragrancy in that way, but very, very light. So I can see why they call it kind of like a rose apple because it's very light flavored and very watery and crispy. Somebody compared it to a watermelon and when I heard that, I was like, yeah, I can see how this would be like a watermelon texture because it's so crisp and watery. Watermelons are a lot sweeter. These are not nearly as sweet. These are just kind of crisp and refreshing. It's just like if it was cool from the fridge, a very perfect light little snack that you can have without having to cut a whole watermelon, which we actually do have a whole watermelon right now. Hopefully it's good. We are going to go out tonight and buy train tickets. So I will try to get a little bit of that for y'all. It's just right down the street. Next week, we are going to take the sleeper train to Da Nang, but we are actually staying in Hoi An for a month, and then we will spend a month in Da Nang after that. Stay tuned for the sleeper train. You should subscribe for that because that will be fun. I think I convinced Ian to do a four person bed instead of a six, because he called it one hard and one soft. And he was like, do you want the hard one or the soft one? I was like, I wanna sleep. So I guess we'll go a little bit more expensive. It's like two US dollars more for between the two beds. We'll go for the luxurious one. Let's find out what luxury is together, okay? Subscribe down below for that. I'll try to get a few shots at buying the train tickets later on. Maybe a little bit of the nightlife, depending upon what we do. That will be at the end. But thank y'all for coming along today. I hope that we go out and make the world 1% better today. And I will see y'all on the next one. Bye guys.